Susan Potter, uh, called my lab um, 16 years ago and said she wanted to donate her body to the process that she read about in the newspaper, The Visible Human Project. The first time I went to the Institute and uh, told Dr. Spitzer that I was interested in applying for a future residency in his Institute. And uh, he looked at me and he showed me George, as I call him, the visible human. And I said, okay, how did he get to be that way? Let's see what you do. And she said, I want to see where I'm going to end up. And I said, well, I don't want to show you where you're going to end up. But uh, she is persistent. And I did. We became friends, much to my, uh, I did not want to become her friend. I don't, I wasn't particularly happy about imaging, sectioning my friend. Uh, so I kept telling her I didn't want to be your friend and I tried to act that way, but we were friends. Uh, we were friends before I even knew her when she sold flowers in front of the Chancellor's office on the 9th Avenue campus um, every Christmas. Uh, she did a lot of things to support the medical school and this is kind of her last wish uh, to support it as best she could in donating her body. And that was what I wanted. That was my last will and testament, to leave something behind that would have an impact on the whole human race.